it seems like everyone and their mother had something to say about the new Predator movie. Some loved it, others not so much. People are accusing Prey of being too much of a feminist propaganda aimed at making men look bad. The movie is also receiving backlash for the obvious plot holes in it. Want to hear what Prey star had to say about all of it? Stay tuned, because we've got you covered. First off, just what in the world is the Predator sequel movie? A suspenseful thriller with plenty of alien action. A trained Comanche warrior battles the wilderness, perilous colonists, and this unidentified beast to defend her tribe from a highly evolved extraterrestrial predator that hunts humans for sport. She does this to ensure the safety of her people. Dan Trachtenberg, who directed 10 Cloverfield Lane, has delivered a taut and suspenseful thriller that will have you on the edge of your seat from beginning to end. The cast is excellent, led by Boyd Holbrook and Olivia Munn, and the action is top-notch. If you're a fan of the Predator franchise, or even if you're just a fan of good old sci-fi movies, Prey is definitely worth checking out. It's one of the best Predator movies in years, and it's sure to leave you wanting more. Now, moving on to the criticism leveled against Prey 2022. After a lot of snooping around, we found that the biggest problem people had with the film was all the plot holes in it. Although the sequel had been shrouded in secrecy just until its release, that didn't stop plot holes from appearing. Here are some of the biggest ones we found so far. How did the Predators get to Earth? In the original movie, it was established that the Predators were using humans as prey in a kind of intergalactic hunting ground. But in the new movie, it's never explained how they got to Earth in the first place. It seems like a pretty big plot hole. What happened to all the other Predators? In the new movie, only one Predator is shown on screen. What happened to all the others? Did they all die off screen or are they just hiding somewhere wanting to strike again? How did the Predators evolve? In the 2022 sequel, the Predator is shown to have evolved, with new features such as retractable claws and enhanced vision. But how did this evolution take place? Never explained in the movie. What is the Predator's ultimate goal? This time, the Predator is shown to be hunting humans for sport, but what is its ultimate goal? Is it just to kill as many humans as possible or is there some motive that hasn't been revealed yet? And how did the Predators get their technology? This time around, the Predators are shown to have advanced technology, such as spaceships and advanced weapons, but where did they get all this tech from? It's never explained in the movie. Apart from not liking the plot holes, people have been accusing the film of being too woke. Next up, let's talk Prey Star's take on the criticism. Amber Mid Thunder, and in an interview with the Daily Beast, said that she understandable why some people might not like the new movie. I get it, it's a very different movie from the original, she said, but I think that's what makes it so special. Amber also addressed some of the specific criticisms of the new film, including its focus on female characters. I think that's the one of the things that makes our movie so special, she said. It's about bad women who can hold their own against these huge predators. Ultimately, Amber said that she hopes everyone can just enjoy the new movie for what it is. It's a fun, action-packed ride, she said. The Prey star claims that the movie is fantastic and she's proud of the work she has done to represent the native people. She's also claimed that a lot of people are spewing nonsense due to not having any knowledge about the plot of the film. Now that you've heard her take, let's talk about where Amber Midthunder really comes from. Amber Midthunder is a Native American actress. She's known for her roles in the FX series Legion and the HBO series Westworld. Amber is also a in such films as Thunderheart, The Do-Over, and Wind River. Born and raised on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota, Amber is one of the Lakota heritage. She began her acting career in community theater productions and soon made the transition to television and film. Amber's breakout role came in 2016 when she was cast as Carrie Loudermilk in Legion. The following year, she joined the cast of Westworld as a Cherokee warrior, Maeve Millet. In addition to her work on television and film, Amber is an active member of the Lakota community. She is a founding member of the Lakota Youth Alliance an organization that works to empower and educate of Native youth. Amber is also a passionate advocate for Native American rights and sovereignty. Despite her success in Hollywood, Amber remains grounded in her Lakota roots. She's a strong voice for her community and an inspiration to Native youth everywhere. To end it, here's why we think Amber was the right choice for the film. Some people might think that Amber Midthunder is too young to play the role of Nauru, but we beg to differ. Here are four reasons why she's the perfect choice for the part. First off, she's a rising star. Amber Midthunder is one of Hollywood's most promising young talents. She's already starred in several major films and her career is only just getting started. Secondly, she has the acting chops. Amber Midthunder is a highly skilled actress. She didn't demonstrated her role for both comedy and drama and she has the range to play anything. Thirdly, she looks the part. No, that's not a dig. With her striking features and natural beauty, Amber Midthunder bears a strong resemblance to Nauru. There's no doubt that she would make an excellent live action version of the character. Lastly, she's a fan favorite. Many fans have already expressed their enthusiasm for Amber Midthunder being 
cast as Naru. It's clear that she has the support of the fan base, and that's always a good sign. We think Amber Mid Thunder is the perfect choice to play Naru, and we hope you agree. Now, in other news, is Prey 2 coming? There's no official word yet on whether or not a sequel to Prey 2022 is in the works, but we're certainly hoping there is. The movie was an instant classic upon its release, and its unique blend of horror, sci fi, and action elements made for an unforgettable experience. We can only imagine what a sequel could do with the formula. If we had to guess, we'd say that there's a good chance we'll see a sequel to Prey 2022 sometime in the next few years. After all, the original movie was a huge success both commercially and critically, and with the way the things ended, it's pretty clear that there's more story to be told. So keep your fingers crossed, and we'll be sure to let you know if and when a sequel to Prey 2022 is officially announced. Next up, fans have claimed Prey star Amber Mid Thunder would fit the role of five Marvel characters. Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel. Amber Mid Thunder would be the perfect actress to play Carol Danvers in a live-action film adaption of the character. She has the perfect blend of strength, charisma, and vulnerability that is required for the role. Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel. Amber Mid Thunder would also be an excellent choice to play Kamala Khan, the new Miss Marvel. She has youthful energy and exuberance that is needed for the role while also being able to convey the character's more serious moment. 3. America Chavez Amber Mid Thunder would make an excellent American Chavez, one of the most powerful superheroes in the Marvel Universe. Charisma and charm would be the perfect for the role. 4. Moon Girl Amber Mid Thunder would also be great as Moon Girl. The brilliant young superhero has the power to control the moon. She would bring the perfect mix of intelligence and attitude to the role. 5. Patriot Amber Mid Thunder would make an excellent Patriot, one of the newest members of the Avengers. She has the heroic qualities that are needed for the role while also being able to show the character's vulnerability. And we got one last bit for you. Impatient to hear what Prey 2 might look like? Prey 2 doesn't specifically set up a sequel, but it does end in a way that the plot develops in many directions. Like other Predator films, since the start of the series, Prey 2 might end up focusing on different different characters in a different place and time period to tell a new story. Alternatively, if Prey 2 is a more direct sequel, the Comanches might be put up against another approaching hunter from space as hinted at in the Prey's final credits. Prey 2 has a lot of room because of the Predator franchise's nature, yet Nauru's return as the main character could make it the first Predator film of its sort. And that's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the criticism leveled against the movie? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.